Okay, so just left the convenience store. Got some supplies. I'm only trying to walk down to t down the hill once a day. Um, I stopped at Waffle House and got myself an LT, a lettuce and tomato sandwich, and some awesome hash browns. And yeah, so now I'm headed back up to the hotel and I'll be resting the rest of the day and moving to hopefully, cross your fingers, Uncle Johnny's hostel tomorrow because I'd rather be around hikers and it'll put me in Irwin, which will put me a little ahead of where my mileage is, but um, I can always come back and do those miles. I don't want to get too, too far behind the people I know and, um, you know, it's, it is what it is and I kind of just have to roll with the punches and if I have to come back to do the miles, if I want through hiker status, I will. It's a pretty steep hill up to the hotel, so that's why I'm only trying to come down here once a day. It's, it's crazy how you're so used to having a car and a way to get around and that you're walking up one side of the country just with foot power and even when you're hurt and you're making it, you're making it work. You figure it out and so it really is a life experience. It's something that you would not experience at any other time. So I'm just looking at it as all positive. You know, sometimes you, you don't think you could possibly do that. How do you not worry, know where you're gonna sleep tomorrow or, and everything you own, you're carrying in one bag, on a back, you know, backpack with, you know, one outfit and, but you make it work. And, you know, I just never have an experience like this. And even if I can't heal up this leg in time, it's been pretty darn amazing to find this out about yourself, that you're way stronger than you think. And you can have a really bad day and something bad really happened to you, but you can pick yourself up and keep moving forward and hopefully my hike isn't over and this leg is going to cooperate and the swelling will go in, down enough to to be able to continue. But yeah, we'll see how it's gonna unfold. I'm gonna give it a few days at Uncle Johnny's if I can get myself in. I have to call tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. They won't make me a reservation. She said that you have to call in the morning and they see how many hikers leave. So yeah, it's, you know, kind of odd, but yeah, so hopefully I'll be able to get in there and get a bunk. Uh, it's supposed to rain all week, so a bunk would be nice instead of camping out on the, you know, when you're injured. You know, I think I'll just have a better chance if I can keep my feet up and just stay in the hostel and not have to walk in and out and honestly be soaked for days on end in a tent, uh, shivering. So we'll see. This is my hotel comfort inn. It's it's nice. The room is nice. Pretty uh pretty happy with it.
Great time. Yeah. I know you guys yeah, and are gonna make Katahdin for a second time. You look not that far behind us. There's only so like half a day. Half a day, yeah. Yeah, I'll see you in a few days. Yep. This is the saddest video ever. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> a real through hike in 2017 and I had never been hiking or camping in my life I didn't know nothing about nothing I saw a video I go to REI I go give me everything I need not to die alone in the woods I'm gonna go do one of them hike things <laughs> I went to Amtrak I went to Hoppus Ferry because that's where you start a flip-flop yeah. I saw it on a video so I know everything about hiking now <laughs> I get off the Amtrak at Hoppus Ferry I go there's no cabs in this town. I gotta walk up that hill. This kid with 3,000 bucks with a brandy new gear on his back, it hasn't sunk in yet. Yeah. Oh. All you're gonna be doing is walking up and down hills until Jersey. Yeah. I made it all the way to New Jersey to that first campground up there. A tick got me with Lyme disease and I had a tap. Okay. <laughs> My name. <laughs> Okay, hostel hopping, and we are at Boots Off Hostel. Ice Princess and I have shared a room. Isn't this cool? My first glamping experience. Okay, so it's raining and I am hostel hopping. I was at Uncle Johnny's and now I am at Boots Off Hostel. I kind of kept going forward because the tramway is moving forward hiking and I still cannot hike on the leg. It's still very swollen and I'm not sure if it's hike ending or not still. I'm trying to give it, I guess at least 10 days to see um, but yeah so I thought I'd discuss hostel life a little bit um, it's very relaxed it's very relaxed here you know they're they're stricter than at some of the other hostels so you can only stay a few days during peak season 
and um, but it's nice it's nice very very good people here they have books um, obviously they have the lights like around this gazebo and a lounge chair to sit on if you look and yeah so they have little cabins and obviously we're glamping in the canvas tent uh, ice princess bought a tv <laughs> So she got a TV at Walmart and walked it right in here. So that was kind of funny. Uh, so we did watch part of a movie last night before we went to bed. And yeah, so yeah, we just hang out um, to have coffee. They put out cereal for us this morning, fruit, fresh fruits. So that was really nice. And um, they do run shuttles out of here for free to the grocery store so you can resupply, you know, if you're headed out on a hike. I'm not sure I'll still be here when the tramway gets here. They are, I think, planning on aqua blazing, which I would have loved to do. So we'll have to see how the leg is doing by then. Um, yeah, I may have to concede the hike. Oh, you hear that? Yeah. So, um, yeah, I probably shouldn't be under a uh, big umbrella <laughs> with metal balls. <laughs> so I might want to get in. I guess my tent is, the canvas tent is the same thing, so. It is what it is, but I might go inside the, the main building here. Yeah, so um, I'll check in with you later. I wish I were hiking. I hope you enjoyed this glimpse into hostel life. Bye.